All right, I got some of my boards back that I designed and sent away for. And this guy, I've populated it, but I don't have the 375s that go here. I do have them coming. I've bought some. This is the 502. And that's my second revision of it. And this is the third revision board right here. This is the same circuit, just positioned differently. This is for like in the center of a board. Say if this was right here and this, you would use this one because it's centered. This one is off-centered like this for a board that has it on the edge like this, like a track and field. So I went ahead and made two versions of it. One with the 28 pin over here, like this, and one with the 28 pin right in the center. Same thing, just different format. But this guy right here is this board. So I'm waiting on these two chips. This is the board bear. Yeah, that's both of them right there. Just laid out different. So yeah, we're gonna wait for these two, and then I'll, I've got it all built and cleaned up, all populated up. So once I get these two, we'll pop them in here and verify that it works. Pretty awesome. Hopefully I get my order of, I mean, I ordered, I ordered the parts before I ordered the boards. These boards got here quick. I mean, it was a matter of three or four days, it seems like. Yeah, all the way from China. So, all right, we'll be back once I get these two chips. And I've got more boards. I've got this one coming as well. The fastest shipping from China, because I did all of these board orders at about the same time. I ordered the shifter for Space Invaders. I ordered this, and I ordered this. These came first, and these were done via UPS. UPS came first. So I know I'll be using UPS from now on. So, all right. We'll be back test these things out all right well of course I just I don't have the patience I don't have the patience to wait so I took the 375s out of the original board and put them in mine right here and here and we are running with my reproduction 502 board and it looks like I did a good job with the schematic because it works. Excellent. And this thing has been set, has set overnight and my two scores are in there still. So that's good. So it is saving scores. And it looks good. I actually see some sparklies a little bit. Huh. I'm going to put the original back in and see if those sparklies are still there or they go away. I may have missed something. All right, I figured out the sparkle. I got my board in. And we'll look. And what I remember is there's little sparklies along the guys. And especially 
right in this dude's at the end of the long jump you can see the sparkly right in the guy's blue pants right at his crotch but the sparklies are gone wait till the long jump comes up and you know my, my scores are still there and no sparklies on these guys Here, at the end of this, the the judge had little sparklies going on. The one fifty sevens that I had in this are new that I believe I bought from a reputable outlet. I believe I bought them from Mauser Electronics or DigiKey, one or the other. They tested my tester as HC157s. They're counterfeit. They are not LS parts. So what I had to do was I had to take this parts board that I pulled the uh, custom out of. I pulled three 157s out of that. Right here, you can see where I took them. Those three spots. And put them in there. So that's that's it. That's what it was. Yeah. You cannot have CMOS parts where you need LS parts. Doesn't work. So... Yeah, those 157s are all counterfeit. Crazy. Well, that's it. That's one of them. That's the 502 Custom. Good to go. Okay, so yeah, from going from this original, this is the original board, to copying that to this schematic that I made. To making my own board. right there and works like a charm just going through and documenting and reproducing these custom TTL versions of these boards so that the hobby will be able to replace dead customs Hey, someone's got to do it. So, and I, I have a lot of boards go through my hands here doing my repair biz. So whenever I, whenever I can do something like this, I do it. So, yeah, awesome. And I did make two versions of these off of the same schematic. I just repositioned everything so that you can have one of these that go in the center of a board that uh, is, is more positioned center. The 28-pin socket is in the center of the board so that it will set better. I mean, this is sets fine, but yeah, that is what it is. This one's for the edge of the board. Track and field, this is a track and field one. Maybe some other game that 
that 504 chip is in the center or, or something like that who knows so yep very good we'll see you all on the next repair video peace out bye for now